truck, big truck. Now, that's the ultimate overlanding trailer right there, right? <laughs> Carry everything there. He stinks. Phew. Good lord. Oh my gosh. That did make it worse, sorry. <laughs> Not that you could smell it, but man, he was carrying. I don't think people stop and think about it, and especially such a long route. I mean, this thing's gonna be five, maybe 600 miles long. Yesterday I did 300. I don't know how far we're gonna go today. I'm hoping at least 200. Can we finish it today? I doubt it. I don't think so. But on our way we go. I started late because of the rains and couple other things I had to take care of needed to do before we got going. The lights on the trailer, the plug unplugged, and it got completely destroyed, and so the lights weren't working. Well, I've gotten one ticket and two warnings for light trailer issues, and so I don't know what it is about me that happening to me, so there was no way I was going to drive around without trailer lights and blinkers and stuff back there, so I had to go to AutoZone and no, I went to O'Reilly's Auto Parts and picked up the plug and in it is and off we go and you know whatever but craziness craziness we are now in the green on the map so we are now in the Oconee National Forest it seems like all this crap is private road private land which is really weird to me. Why is it a national forest? But yet, yeah, you really can't camp anywhere. You really can't. It's no good spots to camp or anything. It's nice. This is, I would call these forest service roads now. But these are very well maintained. So we're not gonna get anything too crazy out here. forest why can't you go in there so I don't really think I feel like the uh, trailer has slowed me down um, it's made me think a couple times of places I'm trying to get into or not get into uh, but really I've shoved it already in places I shouldn't have put it into and she did fine so can't really say much about that So I'm not impressed one what's so bit with this Gaia GPS crap. It's horrible. I don't know what everybody talks so great about. It's it's not very good. It doesn't do what I want it to do. I mean, everybody talks about how great it is. I don't understand what the greatness of it is. I have not found one useful use for it. Try to give it three or four chances, and today I was, I mean, this 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 trip has been trying to use it, and it, it doesn't, it doesn't do, and you know, user error or not, it does not matter, because I can't figure it out, and you know what, I use tons of apps that I can figure out, and that one you can, so I'm not an idiot, I'm not stupid, I got online with some friends, and we talked about it, and I did everything that I knew how to do. Then I went on YouTube and looked it up and did everything and still would not 
do what I wanted it to do. And what happened was I pulled up two GPXs and it's loaded them both. But I only wanted one. So when I try to erase the other one or get it off, I don't know how. I did what it was supposed to do and it still stays there. It's not leaving. It's it's stuck there. So, yeah, great. Wonderful piece of sh crap. So, yeah, in my book, GPX Viewer is 10 times better than than this guy yeah it's not as powerful it's 10 times easier to use it's simple it does what it says it does it's gonna do even if it loses GPX GPS signals it will uh, it will maintain your lines in a blurry road it doesn't just go blank it maintains this little Blurry roads there, but you can so you can follow. You can still follow. And push comes to shove every so often. I mean, I've had to get out of problems and I've done it. But yeah, I, I'm just not that cheap, cheap guy. Yeah, it, it's. I downloaded the map as it said you had to do, so you don't run out of you know you don't lose cell service or whatever signal. This and that, yada yada. It's still, it's a piece of crap. I want to down. I want to erase it off my stuff today, tomorrow. I'm done with it. It's not beautiful as far as sunny is, is concerned, but it's still a nice day. Over. I think they're calling for sprinkles here and there. 